Hey guys, Sarah here from Marital Glue. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're not new, hello as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I am here today to do the $5 Goodwill Challenge. I think I've now, this will be a full year of participating, which is super exciting. Hillary from my so-called home created this challenge years ago now. Um, and every season she does a $5 Goodwill challenge where you take $5 into your local thrift store and see what home related item or items you can find. And then we just share on YouTube. So thank you so much for stopping by. I have two Goodwill hauls to show you um, that were $6 and under because I seem to never be able to find anything for just the $5 mark. Um, the first time I went in, if you're new to my channel, I am a child care provider in my home. I work very long hours. I work 50 hours a week in my home with seven children, three and under right now. So um, life's a little hectic. I don't have a lot of time to go to the Goodwill, but I love going when I do. It's just a little hectic sometimes when I have my own 19 month old who comes with me at night and it's kind of like the witching hour so it's not always the easiest experience to find things but I ended up being able to go two different times the first time I went I was looking for things and I started to find things with a lot of reds in them and I don't really do a lot of seasonal decorating right now we're just trying to get our house to a point of like okay it's like pretty much decorated and we don't have to do much then once we get to that point, I will probably start accumulating more seasonal decorations. But right now, I'm just like trying to get it to a livable, happy place. So I'm still trying to find stuff in that realm. So our living room has these beautiful um, shelves around the TV. It's an IKEA entertainment stand, and we love it. And I love decorating it. I just hadn't decorated it in a very long time. So. This challenge kind of gave me the kick in the butt I needed and I bought three different things to help me decorate that and they all have reds in them because we have a red lampshade and we have a lot of whites and blues and grays in this room and I wanted to bring more pops of red in to kind of get everything kind of to speak to one another if that makes sense in the room. So the very first thing I found was this brand new red and like tan kind of whitish tan stripe basket it's actually brand new it's the brand um i think it says pillow fort pillow fort it's a target brand so target always has brand new stuff at goodwill i got this for 2.99 i really love bins um it's really well made great price three dollars so the second thing I found was this really pretty wooden red little box. Um, it just opens up. I just really love anything wooden and I love the color of it. I just think it's really pretty. This was $1.99. And then the last thing I got was this, um, I don't know if it will show up on camera very well, but it says smile. And there's these wooden pieces that stick out that make the shape around the letters and then you see the letters in the recesses if that makes any sense um, I got this for 99 cents and this is super special to me because growing up my grandma had two of these they weren't red they were just like wood on wood I believe one said Jesus and one I believe said home and I remember spending so much time during the week I would stay with her in the summertime I would just stare at it and like try you know when you can see two different pictures do you guys know what I'm talking about those optical illusions I would try to like just look at the wood on the front and then I would try to see the word and then I would try to not see the word and I just that stands out to me so much and when I showed my dad this I was like who does this remind you of and he was like your grandma has that I she bought it when I was a teenager like he even remembered and for my dad to remember something home decor related says something because he's like totally oblivious to that kind of stuff so I had to buy this I love that it says smile and I smile every time I look at it now okay guys this bad boy is the second thing I found when I had a second to go without my daughter and just really browse and I was like oh I'll just skip the furniture section but I for some reason well actually I saw this easel that I actually sent to Hillary I texted her and was like oh my gosh we should be easel twins but I don't have anywhere to put this and I kept walking and I found this. This is, it's got to be an antique um, kid's desk. And oh my gosh, guess how much I spent on this bad boy? 
$5.99. It was $5.99, and I wish I had the tag to show you, but the lady kept it. Um, it was $5.99. I stared at it, and I was like, do I buy it? Do I not buy it? I don't know where I'm going to put it. Probably will fit in Celia's room, but I'm not sure. Should I buy it? Should I not? Should I buy it? Should I not? And I just grabbed it. There was like a kid standing right there, and I like snatched it up before his mom could like think it over. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. It's got a drawer here. This piece um, is kind of broken. We might have to figure out a way to fix that, but I kind of, you know, I don't really mind it. I think it's kind of charming, but I'm not really sure because this part's stained and this part isn't, so I don't really know. Um, but it's got this metal um, drawer with like a little slot for pencils and crayons and stuff, um, and it's solid. Like, no, I can't get it back in. <laughs> it's an antique. Um, there we go. And the seat lifts off. I think we're going to have to screw that down. Um, there's places to screw it from inside the drawer. But um, Celia already loves it. Here's a clip of her playing with it. She just absolutely loves it. It fits her so well, and it will definitely fit her for a few years. It's got the little spot for the pencil, and it's just so dang cute. And I absolutely love it. It's got marks. It's got... You know, kids have been drawing on this, and I really don't care because I think it's absolutely beautiful and one of a kind. And I was in line at Goodwill, and a lady came up to me, and she was like, oh my gosh, what a great find. And I was like, guess how much it is? It was only $5.99. She was like, oh my gosh. She's like, I would take it from you if I could. <laughs> um, I'm like, I'm going to go pay for it and get to my car before somebody, like, mugs me for it. Uh, I love it. Does it fit the best in our house right now? No, but Celia will eventually be graduating to a big girl room where we'll have more space and I think it'll fit a lot better in there. Her room right now is very small and a weird, it's got a lot of doors and it's kind of hard to place things, but it'll do just fine for right now. Um, but I just love how much she loved it. She wanted to eat her lunch in it right away when we got home and I'm just so happy with it, you guys. I think... I am just so thankful to Hillary for having this challenge because if she didn't, I wouldn't have gone and I wouldn't have found this. And I just think it is so awesome. Well, on that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button. My husband and I have a ton of content coming out. We do a Marital Money Monday where we talk about financial related things. We're trying to get out of $120,000 of debt. So if you want to follow along with that, we also post food related, daycare related, mom related, organizational related, all very lifestyle focused videos. So we would love to see you back. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you stop by and let me know what my, your favorite thing that I found was. And if you have a video, make sure you link it below and I will go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smile at someone today and have a great day. Bye guys.